Alexa says that everything she did last night was perfectly legal, which actually isn't true, which is ah. why the title match ended in a DQ. That's true. Because it was not legal, actually. Rousey gets tired of Alexa after she's called an uh, overrated rookie. Angle tries to restrain Rousey, but Rousey gets a beautiful arm throw and punches Bliss in the ribs. And, oh, boy, yep. you know I'm a sucker for good technique. <laughs> Your boy used to teach some kickboxing. And I, Ronda Rousey's not known as the greatest striker in the world. However, when she hit some pads, she could look good here and there. This one made me melt. You don't see a lot of good rib punches in pro wrestling, and Ronda Rousey was all about that. As it turns out, lackluster striking in MMA can translate into superior striking in pro wrestling, and uh, less than stellar acting ability as an actress can translate into outstanding acting in pro wrestling. Through this first bit of this, I was already cooking. I was already good to go. I was like, man, this is already great. Yeah, uh, this was interesting to me. The uh, um, the the Nia Jax thing of she's invoking a rematch clause, uh, extreme rules. Okay, now comes the thing of, of maybe they'll they'll do this thing where she's not fully one hundred percent, but she still wants a rematch now because she can't wait. That's fine. You that that would be a reason why we're probably going to see her fight from underneath again because Alexa Bliss only works heel uh and and naya now has to be the baby face again when she was just a heel last night um and if you watch her on on twitter after this whole thing she was just going off on on how much she enjoyed like go you go girl to ronda rousey and like oh okay so you were trying to kill her last night but tonight you're, she's your friend because now you have a common enemy uh this is all this is all really great in the in the ring but the the ramifications for now that they still can't quite figure out who Nia Jax is or is supposed to be as a character um, makes me think that, you know, obviously she's going to lose uh, Extreme Rules and then where she goes from there, I'm not sure. So Ronda Rousey grabs the briefcase and beats the living shit out of both Kurt Angle and Alexa Bliss with it. Rousey beat up a bunch of refs too. Mm-hmm. And then she, like, power bomb. Okay, when I say like power bombs, Alexa Bliss, it's not just me throwing the word like out there, as I sometimes do. Mm -hmm. I'm saying this was akin to Oz, Vinny Vegas, early Diesel, as in over the shoulder, mm -hmm. arms around the biceps type of power bomb. Boy, Alexa Bliss was tucking that chin. <laughs> she was making sure <laughs> she was doing what she could. Uh, yeah, this this uh, this was almost a razor's edge, except she didn't extend the arms. That's a, that's about what this was. Uh, looked great. Uh, Elizabeth took it like a champ. Um, uh, this this was uh, the almost point for point the exact thing they did with Brock Lesnar after Seth Rollins cashed in on him at, in Mania Thirty One. They had to get Brock out of the title picture for a month or more. Um, so they had him come out, demand to, to get a piece of Seth Rollins after Seth Rollins cashed in on him. Then when they told him no, he he went crazy. And he destroyed a whole bunch of stuff. And he f 5 Michael Cole like three times. Uh, and so they suspended him. That's basically what this was. This is, okay, we, we, we got to, we're going to save... Rhonda, your your match uh, with Alexa for SummerSlam, but we also can't think of anything for you to do in the meantime. So you're going to go away, and this is how we're going to do that. And I'm fine with that. It makes sense story wise, but it's also fun to me to like keep a mental note of all the times you've seen this story progression in the past, and go basically WWE has like maybe two dozen storylines that they can run at any one time and they just keep figuring out how to put piece them all together because if it's not broke don't fix it they figure and i guess it's not broken but we've seen it before there's other things you can do besides this although this was really really good crowd was cooking man i had a lot of people saying that they thought that rousey would be built like brock lesnar right out of the gate i don't think that's best for her i think it was best for ronda rousey 
I mean, she had already made a career with 15-second matches. And I think if you bring her in and build her exactly like that after we saw her lose in two very high-profile fights, I don't know if that, that bodes well because we've seen how the crowd can reject somebody if, if they know that WWE's machine is behind them. WWE, everybody knows the machine is behind her. However her willingness to adapt and learn things and apparently do it very, very quickly. I think that, I think it was right to showcase that. And initially you did it in a match where it was a tag match. So you, you had a little more creativity available at your disposal as opposed to a one-on-one -on -one match. And then they do it with Nia Jax, who is way bigger and exploited the rule set and attacked her early on. I thought it was really good. And I think this was a good transition into that because against Alexa Bliss, you can't do those things. Alexa Bliss has to be a coward. Yes. Um, I also want to point out uh, the just beautiful fluidity of that hip throw to Kurt, Kurt Angle. Just, I just, it was perfect. Like, it was she, beautiful. It was so good. I mean, obviously, it should be. She's a freaking judo master, but. But we don't, you don't see something that just, it, it honestly looked like it was somebody, a skilled fighter reacting in real time, not this is a choreographed move we've worked out and we're going to do it now. Well, is, and you know, the thing is, anytime she decides to do that to anybody, yeah. it very well could be because she knows how to make them land safely. Yep. And anybody who's taken, uh, these are all people who know to take bumps. Yep. That's it. And when Ronda Rousey's throwing you, if you can bump, you'll be all right. Yep. Backstage, Kurt Angle does suspend Ronda Rousey, who storms off. She says that she is going to kick Alexa Bliss's pink-haired ass. So Ronda Rousey is going to hit the bricks and watch some knockdown sports radio for the next month, I think. Yeah. Uh, it, it was one of those things where I was like, I didn't, I didn't realize that that Alexa Bliss's <laughs> ass had pink hair all over it. Because I, because honestly, for 15 seconds, I became 10 years Will old. Will you stop it? <laughs> 